Hi, this video is about how I personally check to see if I need some iron supplements or not. Now, I don't recommend anybody else use these tactics to self-diagnose because iron deficiency anemia isn't something to self-diagnose or treat. So you should see your doctor for a diagnosis rather than taking iron supplements on your own. Overloading the body with iron can be dangerous because excess iron accumulation can damage your liver and cause other complications. I will explain the two ways that I check whether or not I need iron supplements in just a minute. Iron deficiency is when your body doesn't have enough iron to produce the hemoglobin that allows red blood cells to carry oxygen to your tissues. Initially, iron deficiency anemia can be so mild that it really goes unnoticed. But when the body becomes more deficient in iron and the anemia worsens, the signs and symptoms intensify. Iron deficiency anemia signs and symptoms may include extreme fatigue, weakness, pale skin, chest pain, vast heartbeat, shortness of breath, headache, dizziness, or being lightheaded, cold hands and feet, brittle nails, or inflammation or soreness of your tongue. Now, there's two ways that I check for myself to see if I need an iron supplement or not. The first one is just to simply look underneath your lower eyelid. If it looks white and pale, then you probably are iron deficient. If it looks nice and red and bright, then you're probably okay. Now this is the way I check. It doesn't mean that it's right for you. All you need to do is take your finger, pull down your eyelid, and take a peek. If you don't have a mirror, then the other way I use is to simply look at the fingers of your hand when you're stretched out. And the lower parts of your fingers will turn very light. Then when you release the outstretched pressure and relax your hand and they will become red again. If they don't and they stay white, it doesn't seem to make any difference whether they're stretched out tight or relaxed, you have the same colorization, that might be a tendency that you need iron. That, that works for me. Out of all the tests that I have taken after using this procedure, Although my tests have come out on the bottom of the scale, at least they're not really, really bad because I've been able to kind of monitor it to a degree where it doesn't get really, really bad. Now, keep this in mind that just because it works for me doesn't mean it's going to work for you. So you still have to be a little cautious about it. Well, I hope you learned something and I hope it works for you. I for you like it does me please do not forget to subscribe because that really means a lot to me and it really helps me a lot i appreciate it and oh yeah click on the like button that'll help too <laughs> till next time bye bye